Dr. Laura Hofert practices at Madison Regional Hospital, and she consults with parents of newborns about the importance of vitamin K injections. So vitamin K is a really important vitamin that basically helps us create our clotting factors through our liver that helps our, our blood clot. It's also very important for bone health. And the reason why we supplement it in newborns is because all newborns are deficient in that very important vitamin. The vitamin K injection has been used since the early 1960s. And Dr. Hofert says a single injection must be administered within six hours of the newborn's life. If a newborn doesn't get the vitamin K injection, they are at risk for vitamin K deficiency. Because all babies are deficient in vitamin K, they only have about 20% of those clotting factors that an adult would have. So by giving the vitamin K, we replace those factors right away in the liver. And also it's a slow release over the next two to three months to prevent that catastrophic bleeding. And newborns who don't have enough vitamin K have a startling higher risk factor than newborns who do. Babies who don't get vitamin K are 81 times more likely to develop severe bleeding complications than infants who get the injection. Sadly, Dr. Hofert says about 50% of those bleeding complications happen in the newborn's brain. So typically those babies are going to have poor neurologic outcomes, developmental delays, basically lifelong effects from having that bleeding complication. And actually one in five babies will die if they develop vitamin K deficient bleeding. Dr. Hofert says while vitamin K deficient bleeding is very rare, it's because of the injections. If parents opt out, cases could rise. The estimates are that if we stopped giving vitamin K injections, then potentially 12,000 to 80,000 infants per year could be affected by vitamin K deficient bleeding, which is about 200 infants per day. So while it does seem rare, that's because we've been so good about giving the injection. Dr. Holford ends by saying there are other chemicals in the vitamin K shot, but she assures they are extremely safe for newborns. She also clarifies that the injection is not a vaccine. It is not a vaccine. So all it is is a vitamin replacement. And the way we give that is through a single injection. 